Assalamu alaikum, it's Melanie from Oat Hijab and today I'm going to show you some amazing travel hacks. So I'm going to show you everything you need to take with you for your next trip. I may have slipped and fall before, baby, but I ain't never skipped a beat. And I feel good today, but I can't even say I'd be here without the trials of yesterday. Welcome back to my channel and this is our first video in our new New York apartment. We moved to New York City from Dubai and we've got a whole new setup. We're super excited to be here. We've got some really exciting things coming up after our big move to the city. Alhamdulillah, I've been pretty blessed that I've been able to travel extensively. I've been able to learn and pick up some travel hacks along the way. Let me start with the bag that I use. So I like to travel with a really good travel tote. I do understand that this isn't the most affordable travel tote, but here's why I do love it. So number one, it's huge. I can pack a ton of stuff in it. Number two, it's made of canvas. So it's not leather, which means that it's not heavy. And that is a big thing for me because I feel like I'm always lugging around these heavy purses and they're killer on my back. So this is made of canvas. Which means, number one, it's really easy to clean, and number two, you can like bend it and smush it, and nothing happens to it. It goes right back into shape. So when I need to fold this over, literally like this, and put it underneath, seat, underneath the seat in front of me, it's not an issue. So if this is in your budget, this is definitely a tote that I would recommend. All right, so let me get right into the travel hack. So these are things. Aside from the basics, your wallet, your passport, your keys, everybody knows that you need to take those when you travel, right? But what are those little things that are gonna make your life easier the next time you're on a plane? I'm gonna show you all of them. So first things first, I make sure that I do not leave the home without emergency packets or some type of airborne. This is not airborne, obviously, it's called Baraka. I got this while I was in Malaysia because I ran out of airborne. And we clearly don't have this in the U.S. If you're not in the U.S. and you're tuning in and you're like, obviously, Baraka, hello, what's airborne? Then this is what you need. And what you need the vitamin C for is to boost your immune system. So while you're traveling, your body really takes a hit. And also being in that plane, I mean, think about it. You're in this enclosed capsule, like vessel, for however many hours with people coughing and sneezing all over the place. Just like the perfect combination of germs and people enclosed in one place for you to get sick. And the last thing I need is to get sick when I'm on vacation. It's the worst. So I protect myself by taking tons of vitamin C to boost my immune. Don't forget to take them when you travel. Next thing. I make sure I always travel with wet ones. Now this seems like a no-brainer, but sometimes when you forget to take the wet one and you use the bathroom in the plane at the airport and you need to clean yourself, you have nothing to use. So these wet ones are so important. Now, if you are not Muslim and you're thinking to yourself, what is she talking about? Let me let you in on a little secret. As Muslims, after we use the bathroom, we clean ourselves. It's something we do. According to our faith, cleanliness is half the faith. So cleaning yourself is extremely important. You cannot go to the bathroom without these bad boys. Number three, the plane is extremely dry. It's something we often forget until we're on the plane and we're like, oh, why didn't I bring chapstick? And it's killer when you don't have it. So I make sure I always bring my rosebud salve in addition to hand lotion. Now, my favorites are from L'Occitane. They're amazing. The consistency is great. Not too oily, but they're not watery either. They're awesome. In fact, kind of need some lotion right now, if you know what I'm saying. When you use the bathroom on that airplane, you wash your hands, you come back to your seat, and you're like, ugh, my hands are so dry. You're gonna be so thankful that you remembered to bring some hand lotion. Oh, oh. Smells so good. That's the best one, the neroli. The next thing, and this goes along with the really dry, disgusting air in the airplane, I don't leave home without is my Avion. You may have seen this in a previous video I did about my updated face routine. So this is just a face spray, and it's thermal water, and it just gives your face some hydration, which is key inside that plane. You don't want to be at your destination with really parched, dry skin. You want to be looking healthy, glowing, and hydrated. I spray it throughout the entire flight. In fact, the people next to me always think I'm crazy because I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> All right, next travel hack is something I never leave without, and that is a little tiny 
face towel. So these face towels are so important because obviously you're bringing your toothbrush, you're bringing all your little mini face wash and face lotions and toner and all that stuff. But then when it's time to wash your face, what do you use, the nasty paper towel? I've been to many airports, no paper towels, it's just that disgusting dispenser of that nasty cloth. You have to keep pulling to get some clean parts out. You don't even know if it's clean, they're gross. So after that, I never left the home without a nice face towel that I can use on my face, not have to worry about being grossed out by anything at the airport. My next little travel hack is an eye mask. So I never leave without an eye mask. Sometimes airplanes provide these for you, but I've been in situations where they haven't been provided for me, nor did they turn off the lights, even though it was nighttime and I couldn't sleep. And this one is adorable. I got it from a friend of mine who just gave it to me and she told me she got it at the dollar store. So you can clearly find them anywhere. Another thing I do not leave without is melatonin. Now, this is not ambient, this isn't a sleeping pill, this isn't gonna knock you out. This is an all natural herbal supplement that helps you fall asleep. You need to take this at least an hour before you want to fall asleep, and it really does help. Of course, I use my eye mask to make sure that I can sleep, along with one of these bad boys. The next thing I do not travel without is a little tiny cosmetics purse. This is my little makeup bag that I put all my essentials in. So my toothbrush, toothpaste, floss, toner, face wash, moisturizer, eye cream, all that stuff. I put them all into little teeny containers. I stick them in here and then I take this with me to the bathroom when I'm on the plane. I also put those wet wipes in here so I have everything I need right in this little cosmetic bag. I got this one from Kuyana. They're really amazing. So you can get your initials engraved. I did my, my little nickname, Mel. And it also comes in a bigger pouch and then this smaller pouch. They have a ton of colors. They're handmade in Argentina. And they're just really beautiful. I love the aesthetic. This is something I do not travel without. Last but not least, how can I go anywhere without my HH Essentials Premium Jersey Wrap? I do not travel without this jersey wrap ever. It's the only thing that I'll travel in. It's lightweight and I don't need any pins. No pins. I just wear my little jersey, wrap it around a couple times, do what you need to do, and you're good to go. These are seriously, I have no mirror so I don't know what's going on. <laughs> this actually looks kind of cute. But seriously, these are the best hijabs to travel with and you do not want to leave home without them. They're just perfect. Now, the very last travel hack that I'm going to show you is actually an app, and it's called the My Dua app. It looks like this. So basically, there's a search function at the top, and all I do is I just go in and I search travel, and then all the docs for travel will come up. So I'm just going to go to the standard travel Dua, and then it has the Dua in Arabic, for those of you who read Arabic. If you don't read Arabic, it has the transliteration, of course, the translation, so you know what you're reading. So I always read the travel dot and then I read my own dots for myself, my family, my friends, my community, our ummah, because as we know, travelers' dots are mustajab, which means that they're accepted by Allah SWT. They're one of those special dots. Travel is a hardship, and so Allah SWT accepts the dots of travelers as a result of the hardship that we endure. So make sure that you download this app, read the travel dot, and make dot for yourself and for others, and squeeze one in for me. So those are all my little travel hacks. As always, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and you can always stay updated with me on Snapchat, on Instagram, on Facebook, and on our blog. Take care. So I'm